Hey you guys, my name is Corey Ashton and on this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to build out a 404 or an error page on your Divi website. For those of you not running Divi for your WordPress website, I have an entirely different video, I'll put the link to that in the description box below, that will walk you through using a plugin to make this adjustment on your WordPress website. But for the rest of you running on Divi, I'm gonna show you right now how easy it is to go into your theme builder and build out a 404 page so that you don't see a no results found error page. It's always good to have your 404 page ready to go. I'll show you how to do that all right now. Of course, this is brought to you by LearnDash. When you're ready to get your courses online, please be sure to check out LearnDash. They have an incredible LMS, a learning management system that allows you to quickly and easily get your course content online and start selling today. All right, y'all, let's get to the Divi tutorial, how to build out your 404 page. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to Divi on the left side over here, right? And you'll go into the theme builder right there. Theme Builder and a Divi. And I've got a lot of other options going on here, but let's just start new. I'm gonna click Add New Template. We're gonna to go to the 404 page. They already have it designated, so we're gonna click Create Template. And now that gives us an opportunity to go in and add a custom body. And you know, if you know Divi, you've got three options. Build from scratch, a pre-made layout, or clone one of your pages. I'm gonna build from scratch. Let's go ahead and just add in a full width area here and text. Really, you can add any message you like. I'm gonna have kind of fun here and say that you need a sense of humor uh, in this industry. So this is going, of course, on my askcorey.com website. So just something fun here um, and you'll get to see some of my sense of humor when it comes to a 404 page. Remember, as I'm doing all this, that this is going to be seen if anybody maybe has an old link or maybe has um, something bookmarked that you'll want to be sure to direct them correctly to, maybe that's a broken link now. So um, yeah, that's what you would do here. I'm gonna add in a fun video as well. So let's just add new module video and I'm gonna drop in a YouTube video that's really funny and if y'all have never seen this video, it's pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, the expert, this is a really funny video. So drop that in there. I'm gonna put my text just below it. And of course, this isn't just for being funny. What we wanna do now is go ahead and add something in there that helps them know what they're seeing. So we do wanna say some, something about an oops message, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another text box and Put in there, oops, something went missing, right? We're just gonna add that in there so that they understand that this is an error that they're seeing. This is a page that's letting them know that what they're looking for is probably gone. And I'm gonna use the layers module here, drag it up to the top of the page, drop it up there. Now, as soon as they land on any sort of broken link, they're gonna see that error message right away, which is really, really good to let them know that something is missing. Another option you can do is add in uh, a search option. You know, if your website is really large, if you have a lot of resources there, perhaps you'd like to add in a search bar. So I'm gonna add a bit of text that gives instructions to use the search bar or click this button or this link to go home. You can add in different options here. I'll fancy it up just a little bit with some design added to the text. Isn't this so cool using the Divi Builder that you never have to know code anymore? Back in the day, this would have taken me forever to do inside of CSS. The next module I'll add is the search module. Super easy to do that. Drop that right in here. Add in search our site. Perfect. Put some spacing, put it in the middle. Very straightforward. One last touch. I'm gonna throw in a funny GIF or GIF. Uh, put that in here, a little animated fun just to let people know again, it's just something fun and silly. Ah, one of my favorites. 
Now that you've got that done, you're going to go back, click Save Changes, right? And then I want to show you what this is going to look like on the front side. Now, if we click Refresh on that page that said No Results Found, now this is what they're going to see anytime they come to a missing link or a broken link. How cool is that? So super simple to do. But remember, I had a text area in here that says, you know, click here to go to our home page or search below. So they can use the search bar if they wanted to right here, or they can click on the click here to go to our home page. I missed that. So let's jump back in there for one more second, get back into that template, and just go ahead and add in a text link for that little bit of text here that says click here. Of course, if you wanted to do this in visual mode, you can click over to that tab and do this in visual mode. But for now, I'm just going to type the code really quickly in here and finish that up. And now that's clickable. You can see that beautifully right there. It changes color to my nice bright orange. Of course, you can change it to whatever color you want, but you really want it to stand out. So I'm going to bold it even just a little bit and click OK. We're going to open up our little purple menu here. Click Save and Two extra little steps, exit out of this screen, and click Save All Changes. And now, going back, you can see that it is clickable now. There you go. I hope that Divi tutorial was helpful for you. Obviously, you're running on Divi. Did you know I have an entire playlist here on my YouTube channel dedicated to all things Divi? I'll put the link to that in the description box below as well. I hope you're having a great one. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you back here next week. Bye, y'all. Thank you.